The new manager is a loyal, hard-working employee. Yes. The obvious choice for the job. He's right. A name you all know. That's me. Please welcome our new manager, Roy. Next time, buddy! Woo! Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and as you saw, we finished the Mario series last week with getting Bowser Jr., or in this case, Roy Koopaling, into Elite Smash. And this time, I think we're going to tackle another Roy. And in fact, it's the Roy that's well known more in the game. He's from the Fire Emblem series that... Oh. Um, we haven't done a little bit of work on We've done Krom and Ike so far. But it should be very obvious what I'm talking about. We even battled him last week. It's, of course, Roy. Oh. And Roy has a lot of pretty interesting skins. Um, there isn't a black skin for Roy. This gold one's okay. Not a big fan of this one. But I'm actually a really big fan of this purple and maroon one. It's the skin that I use with Roy. So let's see if we can turn up the heat with him. Alright, looks like Little Mac is going to be our first opponent. And that should be a very good way to start things off here today. And I will explain a little bit about how Roy plays. This is a very interesting interaction. Alright. So the thing is with Roy is a sword fighter character. And he has a tipper. But the thing is with his tipper, it's very interesting. As most sword characters... Their tipper is on the edge of the blade, but Roy actually does more damage if you get close with him. As you saw, and you can tell by that sound effect, is Roy got a tipper. So let's go ahead and approach him. Okay, he didn't use KO Punch yet, so he can just approach him. Well, we failed. I spoke too soon. Yeah, he can do that with KO Punch. And yeah, I forgot to say, this is ooh, almost a... Got him with that shield break. But we do get him this time. Sweet spot F smash. But yeah, his rule set is 3 minutes and 2 stocks. It's not a really good rule set. So allows me to just manipulate him like that. Strong down here. Can spike, just like Krom. But I think it's a little bit easier to hit than Krom's. Alright, nice Are air you pump. Alright, looks like it's going to be an SD. And that's something you have to look out for when you're a little mech. And I don't think that 3 minute 2 stock rule set helped out. But it definitely helped us win. Alright, unfortunately didn't have to get an F smash, but this is our last game since we won the first one. Nice down here in the down smash, almost got him with the back air as well. And yeah, we do have another chance to be on an undefeated run for Roy. Nice F tilt, and I think that's gonna do it. Yep, we didn't even need a sweet spot that time, even with KO punch middle. Ma little Mac cannot just recover. And yeah, it's a little hard for him to recover. But we're still doing a really great job so far. Still in that 3 minute 2 stock rule set from earlier. And yeah, his up blazer, as they call it, unfortunately losing the first stock and we're now only left with one. But yeah, I don't think I'll be able to show a lot of Roy's moves here just because on that rule set. We will be able to show off his counter. Something that I noticed that he was doing uh, is just pushing buttons, so counter helps out with that. And there as well. Wait, dude, nice. Okay, good that we did not get hit by that KO punch. That could have ended us very fast. And yeah, we're still hanging in there. He's at 111, so nice hit. All right. Hey. Oh, better luck next time, buddy. Woo! We could have whipped the counter on there. Well, that's the thing. You can't copy our counter. Ours is stronger, and we proved that we were just a stronger one because we have a sword and do more damage close up. Well, I think that was a very interesting Elite Smash. Undefeated again as... Boy will join up there with, I believe, Isabel, Piranha Plant, and Krom as the only ones to have an undefeated Elite Smash run, which is pretty impressive. Unfortunately, that does mean we didn't get to show off a lot of his moves. The one special move we didn't show off was actually Roy's Neutral B, which is very similar to Krom's. You can charge it up to maximum power and it'll just do the same thing, it does a lot of damage. Not really used in a lot of situations, but I think we were able to use a lot of his moves where necessary. And hey, being a sword fighter, you would expect Roy to play from a very far distance, but the fact that his tipper is on the hilt of his sword makes it so that you play him more aggressively than a lot more sword characters are able to, and I had a lot of fun playing Roy. I thought he was a pretty fun character. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and smash that subscribe button. 
with Roy's neutral beat that we unfortunately didn't use. But I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.